Hi friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to share a book haul with you. This book haul was actually recorded when Jessie was visiting me and the original plan was to share each day's book haul on the day that we actually got all of the books. But for some reason, my camera decided to act up. So I had to salvage footage from my phone, which is what I'm filming on right now. Um, so I was able to salvage together a vlog, but the vlog is already 20 minutes and I didn't want to make it extremely long. So I'm going to go ahead and share our book hauls in this video. It's Jesse's haul and my haul all in one video. Also to note, in the very first day, we had both of our cameras set up to record the book haul. So I may not be looking directly at my camera. Um, I was looking at her camera to film. Luckily, she had all of the footage and she was able to send it to me. But day one and day two, book hauls from when Jesse was visiting me coming at you right now. This is day number one book haul. We went to Barnes & Noble. So let's start there. Okay. Barnes and Noble. Okay, Barnes and Noble. I think all of ours are going to have like a certain theme. Yeah. <laughs> a certain theme. Okay. Um, so Since we have the same amount. Do you want to do like one by one? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we each got four books. Um, okay. I'll start. So I got Love Holly by Emily Stone. Mm -hmm. I've read two of her books previously. Really, really enjoyed them. So I needed to get the newest one exciting i don't know how i feel about the yellow cover i love yellow so i do too but for christmas but anyway okay true um i got snowed in for christmas by jacqueline snow this was on i think both of our lists and they only had one which it's okay <laughs> and we okay. haven't found another one yet true oh we're going to the virginia beach barnes and noble tomorrow oh yeah so they could have that one mm -hmm. too okay cool yeah so this one is i've never I've noticed I've never read anything by these authors except one that I'm going to mention. Okay. So, and I think that's really cool about like Christmas romances. So mm -hmm. we have this one. All right. So my next one is Mary Kate Andrews, Bright Lights at Christmas. I read her Santa suit uh, book, the Santa suit last year or whatever year it came out. I've also read other books by this author. So I knew for sure I wanted to get this one. And plus the cover is so freaking cute. Mm -hmm. um, I'm leaving that one last. Okay, for some reason I thought you picked this one up. Um, I got The Christmas Wager by Cassidy Holly, or Holly Cassidy, excuse yeah. me. Yeah, <laughs> um, So I, this was, she sent me a graphic to like kind of start what books were coming out yeah. for Christmas. And so this one I believe has to do with like, like saving a small town like bookshop, but I like as a competition. So we love like, Competition. Competition. Small towns. Mm -hmm. Love yeah. that. All right. The next one that I got is The Christmas Orphans Club by Becca Freeman. I have really been wanting this. Mm -hmm. um, Becca Freeman is a bookish podcaster and she wrote a freaking book, y'all. Oh, and I, I think that. she's she's um, working on the second book or you know, maybe already queered it. It's already been picked up. I don't know, but I just really wanted to read this. It sounds really cute. It's multiple POV and I do love the cover. So I wanted to support awesome. her, but yeah. Um, I got one and I was pitching this one to Gwen and again, <gasps> it felt so good. This they, is the one that I really want. This is I know, the one and I they only had one copy. So maybe tomorrow. Um, so this one is the holiday mix up by Jenny Byard. I think that's how you say the last yeah, name. Or Bard. Bard. Um, yeah. I have no idea. But this one is about a woman who agrees to do fake dating with a guy that she's been crushing on. Like she's a waitress. So she agrees to like spend the holidays with him as his fake girlfriend. Well, they get into a car wreck and her date slash crush ends up in a coma. So she has to still spend the holidays with her fake boyfriend's family. family. But then she starts falling for the Hit brother, brother. And, and, also, and the brother starts liking her. Yes. And it's like, Oh, I kind of wish you weren't with my brother. <laughs> so also she finds out that maybe her crush is not that great of a guy. Oh, so yeah. So I'll be looking for that one. Oh, and does she have another book? Yeah. Right girl, wrong side. It doesn't hmm. look Christmassy though. Okay. 
And the next book we both got yep. it is the new Cody Hall Arts, the third book in the Cody mm -hmm. Hall series. Yeah. I don't know what the series is called. The first book is Nick and Noelle's Christmas Playlist. The second one is There's Something About Mary. And we both read that last year. Last we buddy year. read it. So we need to buddy read this one. Along Came Holly by Cody Hall. This is just the cutest cover ever mm -hmm. they're just re this book has been out a while it's not like a new one it's just they redid the cover and i'm so glad they did because this cover mm -hmm. is giving everything i need it to give yes it looks so freaking cute and it i don't know if i like this one too because i loved you I might loved, get the first one yeah i might go back and get this the next one or the first one I should yeah say. yeah that way we have the whole set mm -hmm. but yeah so these are the books that we got at barnes and noble yay all right, then we went to the Chesapeake Book Exchange. Yes. Uh, okay, I got more than you did. Definitely. Well, I'll just do this, and then we can go one by one. Okay. Okay. So, I ended up getting, what was it, 21 books, which I know it sounds crazy. It sounds crazy, but wait. <laughs> Is it really 21 books? Actually, I got the 18 books box set of the babysitters club i could not pass it up because it's originally 125 dollars and i got it for 62.50 of store credit yeah. <laughs> so and it's funny because even though i go to the book exchange all the time i was like i can't get it that's 60 dollars and jesse's like of store credit oh yeah 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 i, like, I can get it seven hundred dollars i was like credit. yeah i can get it so yay this is my favorite favorite mm -hmm. My turn? Yep. Okay. So I guess the first one, this is actually another Christmas book in a way, but not really. A horror Christmas um, book. <laughs> this is Lucky Girl, How I Became a Horror Writer, a Krampus Story by M. Rickert. Rickert? Rickert? And it's yeah. super short. So like a little novella. Yeah. A little novella. I think it's like right at a hundred pages. Yeah. Right. At, or hang on. Acknowledgements. Yeah, so it's 103 pages. So I felt Perfect. like this would be kind of cute, especially if I'm trying to hit like a goal for like anything. So I could definitely check this one out next month. Perfect. All right, I saw that they had House of Leaves, which is incredible because if you try to buy this full price, it's very pricey in the bookstore. And I, it's one of those books that I've, I'm always looking for at the book exchange because I don't want to pay full price and I kind of didn't pay anything because again, store credit, but House of Leaves, it's the one that has like different multimedia and stuff like that. It's very floppy. Very floppy. I mean, this is like floptastic, but yeah. I mean, look at it. I'm so like, Am I going to read it right away? No, but I know one day I do want to tackle it. And I think it'll be a good book to do like a solo vlog for of like me tackling this book. And I have it now. So I'm excited. Just listen to it flop around. Floppy, floppy. <laughs> okay. The next book I have, I actually have last time I was here from the book exchange and I wanted to read it over the summer and I never got around to it. But I think the one I got it was a little damaged. It was a little damaged, and this is the paperback one, and I love this cover. Yeah. And it looks like it's never been opened. I know, it looks brand new, like, from the bookstore. Yeah. Like, a new bookstore. Mm-hmm. The only thing is, and I'm just now noticing it, it has that stupid... Yeah. But I think the hardcover did, too. I'll have to double check. But I'd rather have it in, like, a pristine condition, and plus, I feel like... Paperback. Summer reads are better in paperback, in my opinion. Yeah. So take them to the beach in your beach bag. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. 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 So my goal is to. I was actually telling her before I found this one. If I don't read the this book by, by next, next by the end of next summer, I'm going to unhaul it. And then I was like, oh, let me get another copy. <laughs> So, judge me all you want. Yeah. Okay. I also saw Romantic Comedy by Curtis Settenfield. This is a book of the month book, but I wanted to get the non book of the month copy because you guys know I am trying to read all of my book of the month copies. I still do really want to read this, but I don't want to have to make it a priority. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I was safer getting this copy. Uh, it's a Reese's book club pig. It's a rom-com. I'm, you know, may or may not be doing a rom-com read on like, you know, in the new year. So on the same shelf, they did have the book of the month copy. I was like, when it is a book of the month. I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> but they were like on the opposite ends. <laughs> yeah. So um, I got The Party. I'm not excited about this cover, but I've been wanting to read it. It's also by Robin Harding. 
Um, I think this was her debut, maybe. Uh, maybe. Um, but I've been wanting to read this one. I haven't heard like the greatest things about Robin Harding's other books, but this one seems really interesting. So it's a very boring cover. Yeah, I feel like it had to have gotten a cover change at there some point. There is a player but, cover. But when you find it for free. Free. You know, girl math free. So. Okay. All right, the last book that I got at the Chesapeake Book Exchange is Dennis Lee Hand's new 2023 release, Small Mercies. I actually almost picked this up twice, like full price from Barnes and Noble. So I'm really glad that I just like waited. It is historical fiction. I'm um, set in the summer of 1974. So it's not like too historical, um, but I just, I read Since We Fell by Dennis Lee Hand absolutely loved it i have shutter island is have it shutter read, island mm -hmm. okay have read that one no i haven't read it yet oh. so maybe i'll do like shutter island and this one it'll kind of they're two totally different stories yeah. so but yeah i got it for free <laughs> free mm -hmm. um the next or the last one i have from the book exchange is falling by tj newman so i know lane is gonna be really excited about this one i I'm like interested, but I'm not interested. It's super fast paced. Okay. And it's short. I rated it four or five stars. Well, it's kind of giving me the chain because like the guy has to like crash the plane to save his family or not crash the plane and then his family or his family dies. Yeah. Type of thing. So. And I love the second book too, Drowning. Yeah. So. I keep seeing Drowning more and I'm like, oh, this one sounds interesting, but I feel like they're not read related. this one yeah okay. they're not related read okay. this one then if you like it then try the drowning yeah so yeah perfect all right then what did we do next we didn't get anything oh at... we didn't get anything at smith's discount book correct but what did you think about that bookstore very chaotic but they did have um fourth wing they and Iron Flame. Flame. And Iron Flame. Flame. They had a bunch of romance, like Tessa Bailey and things like that. So it's like... They had Freedom had, McFadden. Yeah, Colin you just Hoover. had to search for everything. Mm -hmm. And like they had like used and new books mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it was really cool. I'd definitely go back there and check it out again. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so then we decided to go to Novel Grounds. And I got a couple of things for there. I got the Small Town Sticker Pack. So it has a bunch of stickers in there. I also got another bookmark. Uh, this one is from Bookish Babes Bookshop. And I got the same one. Jesse ended up getting this. Well, I got the same one. There were a couple different colors that we could choose from. But I liked the pink. And it has bats and pumpkins and ghosts. And then I did get a Small Town clean romance i think i don't know if it's clean or not i guess we'll see oh. but it's called bet the farm the city girl has no idea what she's in for by stacy hart i don't know if it's clean y'all are probably screaming at me gwen that is not a clean romance i don't know but i'm gonna find out and then for me i already showed off what i got from novel grounds but i'll just do it again again the same bookmark, but I also got this one, which Gwen has this one too. So yeah. we have two matching bookmarks. Um, my blind date with a book came with this sticker. I also got it. Actually, you can have that one because I already have one because it the came same in my one? pack. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was you can give it to like Rachel or someone at work. Okay. Or... Um, then all this stuff in here, which is like a notepad, some annotation stickers, a like little postcard thing, and then the same sticker. And then I got this one as my blind date with a book, which I'm very excited about. It sounds really, really cute. Yeah, renovation vibes. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we went to Prince Books, which is another independent bookstore. And I got one book that I honestly thought I would never read. But here we are, okay? I recently saw another booktuber read this and they kind of raved about it, got emotional about it, cried even. But also Emily, the leader, one of the leaders of my book club, there's like two leaders, they co-lead, but Emily, she's also an independent bookstore owner, like a pop-up bookstore type thing. Mm -hmm. But she also read this and said it's really, really good. So it is, you're not going to believe it. <laughs> Shark heart. <laughs> this is a debut by Emily Habeck. Um, I don't know guys. I don't know, but Jesse has requested that I read this in a vlog so she can see all of my thoughts and feelings. So I'm gonna make that happen. Wish I'm me luck. I'm excited. And then we went to, to the, the Norfolk 
book exchange. Book exchange. Because yeah. I did not get anything at Prince Books. Yeah. So the first book I got is The Perfect Ruin by Shonora Shonora Williams. Shonora Williams, which Lena was talking about this one. And I've read it also. She was describing it. I was like, ooh, that just sounds like juicy drama that I really want to read. So got that one. I didn't oh, you didn't any. get anything. Yeah, right. I didn't get anything there, you guys. Aren't you proud of me? Because <laughs> that makes up for your box set. <laughs> um, the next one I got, I've never heard of this one or this author. It says, After the Wedding. But it looks cool. It does. It kind of looks like one of those like indie like Amazon books. Yeah. Um, but it says, She saw something terrible that day. Now it's about to destroy her. Mm -hmm. And then your last book. I forgot you didn't get it. <laughs> um, so I read Sherry LaPena's newest book. And so I kind of gave up on her a little bit after reading An Unwanted Guest because that was not something I liked. So now I want to read the two books that she's read in between her newest and An yeah, Unwanted Guest. Yeah. So I got this one. And I think Jordan read it and said so she overall really enjoyed it. So it's the other, the the end of her. Excuse me. Yeah, so. okay. So I think that was the one right before her newest one. Yes. I, okay. Yes, I do believe so. Okay, so, good. That's so, all I got. So how many total? Twelve. Ten. If I count the boxed set as it one. It doesn't count as one. No. <laughs> Hello, we're back. <laughs> we are back with day two of our book shopping. So here is day two's haul. Mine are over there. Let me go grab them. <laughs> I have mine right here. I'm so ready to go. So who has the most? This oh, that's all you got. Wow, I did get more than you. Okay, I okay, have okay. By one, I have four. I have okay. five. So we actually started the day and went to a, another Barnes and Noble location, mm -hmm. much smaller location. They didn't have a Christmas table. They didn't have a Christmas table. All their Christmas stuff was mixed in. They didn't have the ones that we were looking yeah, for. Yeah, we were we looking for have. specific ones and we were like, okay, let's just yeah. head out of here. So we left there and we went to Second and Charles. Yeah. And this was both of our first time at mm -hmm. Second and Charles. None of us got anything. Like yeah. it was close. It was close. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it, they ha it's new and used books mm -hmm. and they're kind of mixed together, we think. Yeah. And again, we were looking for Christmas romance books specifically or mm -hmm. if there's anything else like that kind of struck our fancy and we didn't really find anything. Then I took her to um, the newer book exchange location, yep. which is in Red Mill um, Commons and it's in Virginia Beach and that it's probably my least favorite location because I think it's the smallest it is pretty small but it does have like a beachy atmosphere it has yeah. like wooden floors gray and white beachy pictures and stuff like that there are new release sections kind of small I think it's just mm -hmm. small and yeah. I think I never really find anything there and I and I didn't find anything there but yeah. Josie found some stuff I did find two um I found The Surgeon by Leslie Wolf and I had seen this one kind of floating around. It says, I never lost a patient until today. Um, it also says on the front, trusted surgeon, loving wife, murderer. And then I saw this one, um, I think back when I started booktube and I just never picked it up. Um, ooh, interesting. Okay, this is Unspeakable Things by Jess Laurie. And um, it says, don't go in the basement. Inspired by a terrifying true story heart-pounding novel of suspense about a small Minnesota town where nothing is as quiet or Ooh. as safe as it seems. That sounds um, good already. I love um, things like that based on a true story. Yeah, so it's got like that ideal perfect town, but then one by one local boys are going missing. Mm. Um, and one by one they return changed, violent, moody, and withdrawn. Ooh. And then we went to, we went the long way. <laughs> We eventually made it to uh, the Lynn Haven um, book exchange mm -hmm. and that's like the normal one in Virginia Beach that I go to but mm -hmm. I ended up with four books she I ended three. up with three books um, the first one that I saw is my sweet girl by Amanda Jayatessa mm -hmm. this is her debut so you might recognize the name she wrote what's it called the you're invited. invited yeah you're invited um it, it was, was book of the month pick. yeah it was a book of the month pick um it was about a, like a wedding and stuff like that but i like the cover and i really enjoyed um you're invited so i was like oh i might as well give this one a go i like the cover. um 
It is blurred by Riley Sager, dark, compelling, and utterly original. Mm -hmm. And it says Paloma once thought her perfect life would begin once she was adopted and made it to America. But she's about to find out that no matter how far you run, your past always catches up to you. Um, so she is for, from, um, like out of the country, she comes here, best of everything, schools, money, parents, so perfect that she fears she'll never live up to them. Now, 30 years old and recently cut off from her parents' funds, she decides to sublet the second bedroom of her overpriced San Francisco apartment Ooh. to this guy that has just recently moved onto the country from India. She has to admit it feels good helping someone find their way in America. That is until he discovers her darkest secret, one that could jeopardize her own fragile place in this country. Before she can pay him off, she finds him face down in a pool of blood. She flees the apartment, but by the time the police arrive, there's no body and no evidence that he ever existed in the first place. Oh my. So I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, how do I follow up with that? Okay, um, the next one I have is The Last Day Alive by Geneva Rose. This is actually book two in her Detective Kimberly King book series. The, she wrote these two before she wrote um, The Perfect Marriage. It was actually under her other pseudonym oh. name. Pseudonym? Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is book two. And the reason why I got this is because my friend Rachel, um, for Gwen's Night Owl, <laughs> um, book exchange that we did, uh, for the fall, we actually did this where we did like a bunch of different things with a book and I got book one from Rachel. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And now I found book two. I haven't read book one, but now I have the full series. Yeah. That way you can, books. yeah, it's only two books. So, and that way if it lends up like ends on a cliffhanger you can jump right into book two mm -hmm. you know yeah okay next up uh actually jesse found these for me oh. um they were the vm burns um the plot is murder is the first book i believe this is book four this is book seven they did have one two and three also but i've already read those so i only needed four and then they didn't have five or six but i was like i might as well get seven because i'm probably going to continue in the series um the only thing about this series y'all is that i don't like the book that samantha the main character is writing because the this is like a contemporary cozy mystery series the book that she's writing is a british historical cozy i don't like british i don't like historical so i'm not into her books but this in this one she actually is heading to new york city i believe and she's going to be meeting with her book publisher so i'm like okay maybe after this it will kind of die out like maybe she doesn't get the deal but anyway <laughs> um it's about this woman that opens a mystery bookshop i really love her grandmother her nana joe and nana joe's friends they are hilarious uh the next one i have is girl in the rearview mirror by kelsey ray denberg and i saw this one at my library and it's one of those where i checked it out never read it mm. Now I forgot about it. Um, it says, I never meant to lie. That it that is, I never wanted to. All right, so the last book that I managed to find, they actually had a book of the month copy, but you guys know I'm anti book of the month copy now. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's like January or something and I have all year to read it. Yeah, but it, as it's getting close to the end of the year, I have passed up Happiness Falls. I found like five copies this weekend and I'm like, no. Girl. I'm like, no. It has to be a regular copy. Anyway, I found this one. I was very excited. The Family Game by Katherine Stedman. I liked that one. And this is around Thanksgiving time. Is yes, it? It, go, it starts at Thanksgiving leading into the holidays. So I think that's good. But she's read it. She liked it. I think I will too. A rich, eccentric family. A time-honored tradition. A lethal game of survival. One woman is about to find out if she has what it takes to join her husband's family in this riveting must-read thriller. So that was the last book I got. The last one I have, I've already read. I just don't have my own copy. But it is Every Value Break by Peter Swanson. I loved this book. It's one of the very few Peter Swanson books I love and recommend um but i've already read this one i just i think i borrowed someone's art copy and then i sent it back to him but i just never got my own um but this one is about a woman who is marrying this guy who's very very wealthy um she appears to love him but then right before they get married she kind of has this fling with this guy and never like like 
the next day she's like oh my gosh i made a mistake i can never tell anyone then after her and her husband get married they go to this like very bougie island like, like, resort yeah like, yeah it's, it's very weird but very private like resort and so she's like okay this is fine but then the guy that she had a fling with shows up and won't leave her alone mm -hmm. yeah so, very good love this one so that was our day yep. two book haul. That was our book haul for day two. I don't know where the other one went, but yeah. So I think what's the next like dinner? Yeah, I think we're going to get ready for dinner. dinner, and then yeah, we'll see where the night takes us. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody is having a lovely day or night. I'll see you guys again in another video very soon. Bye, friends. <laughs>